Have you ever struggled to manage multiple devices like your work computer, personal PC or a gaming console without ending up with a messy desk full of cables? That's where USB, HDMI and KVM switches came in. They can simplify your setup but buying the right one can be tricky. With so many options and features out there, it's easy to overspend or pick something that doesn't meet your needs. In this video, I will simplify the process for you, break down the key differences for each switch and help you decide which one is the perfect one for your own setup. Plus, I will give you my top recommendations for each category for you to save time, money and a lot of hassle. Alright, let's start with the USB switch. The USB switch is a device that helps you to share USB peripherals like your keyboard, mouse, printers or even external drives with two or more computers. Imagine you have a desktop PC and a laptop but you don't want to deal with two mouses and two keyboards. Instead, you can connect both computers to the USB switch and use just one keyboard and mouse for both. With the press of a button, you can switch control from one computer to the other without having to physically swap cables. USB switches are ideal if you have multiple computers and you don't want to buy duplicated peripherals. Now, some of you might be thinking, isn't it just like a KVM switch? Well, kind of, but there is a key difference. USB switch only handles your USB peripherals, like your keyboard, mouse, printer or external hard drives. If you want to switch video as well, in addition to the USB, you should consider buying a KVM switch, which I will also explain later in this video. Now, if you want to buy an USB switch, there is three criteria to decide first. The first one is the USB version. You can buy USB 2.0, 3.0 and even USB-C. Depending which version you go, the price of the switch will highly increase. And another thing that increases the price of the switch is the amount of ports you need. Some of the USB switches in the market has only one port, while others could have eight or more, depending on the switch that you are looking for. And the final one is the data transfer. If you are planning to transfer data through an USB switch, and if you want to do it fast, then you should look into more premium options with USB-C connectivity supporting 5 gigabits per second or 10 gigabits per second. So with these criteria out of the way, my first recommendation would definitely be the Cybrand's USB 2.0 switch. The switch is extremely basic. It has two inputs for two separate computers and one USB out. If your mouse and keyboard shares the same dongle, then this would be the ideal one and the cheapest one that you can get in the market right now. It goes for 10 bucks and if you need to USB 3.0 connectivity, you can get the same one with USB 3.0 support for only 15 bucks. If one port is not enough for you and you still want to get this USB switch, then you can get an USB hub like this which extends one USB port to the many and it could be the simple route to use simple devices like your keyboard and mouse. If you don't want to get a separate hub and want everything in the same place, then this Ugreen USB 3.0 switch could be your solution. This switch supports 4 USB 3.0 connectivity and its listing price is 37 bucks. Right now it's around the Black Friday time and it goes for 30 bucks instead of its listing price of 37 bucks. I have two more USB switch recommendations, which are generally suited if you are going to use these tools for data transfer. This one from Ugreen supports 5 gigabits per second transfer speeds thanks to its Type-C connectivity, which has a listing price of 46 bucks, but during the Black Friday deals it's only 36 bucks. If you don't have that much budget constraint and if you want the highest speed possible from this USB switch, then I highly recommend this one. And this is again from Ugreen and it supports 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds thanks to its Type-C ports. And on the other ports it also supports 10 gigabits per second thanks to its USB 3.2 connectivity. And one other benefit of this USB switch is the Type-C connectivity to your PC. You can get really high speeds through these USB-C ports while easily connecting them, for example, to your laptops. Now let's move on to the HDMI switch. HDMI switch lets you connect multiple HDMI devices to a single HDMI input on your TV or monitor, allowing you to switch between devices like your PlayStation, Xbox, laptop or PC without constantly swapping cables. One of the biggest reasons why people buy HDMI switches these days is because they're running out of their HDMI ports either on their TV or monitor. It's very common when you have multiple devices to be connected, like gaming consoles, PCs, streaming boxes, whatever you name it. Rather than constantly unplugging and plugging things back in, HDMI switch allows you to switch between them easily, keeping your setup neat and organized. Some of them also comes with a remote, which is extremely convenient. When buying an HDMI switch, there is basically two criteria to decide first. The first one is the number of input devices that you are going to be connecting. You can connect two devices or you can connect up to 5, 10 devices depending on the switch that you are going to buy. And the second criteria is the resolution and the refresh rate support. They are called HDMI switches, but there are different versions of HDMIs in the market right now. For example, older HDMI switches support HDMI 1.4, which only supports up to 4K 30Hz resolution. But modern devices and HDMI switches comes with HDMI 
HDMI 2.0 connectivity, which supports up to 4K 60 Hz. So considering all of these, my first recommendation would be from Ugreen, which is the most simple HDMI switch that you can buy in the market right now. It only supports two inputs, but it supports it with 4K 60 Hz. And it reflects to the price as well. It has a listing price of 13 bucks, which in Black Friday deals is 10 bucks. If you don't want to go with the Ugreen, you could also go with this Anchor one, which has exactly the same features as the Ugreen one, which has a listing price of 18 bucks, while in Black Friday deals, it goes for 13 bucks. My next recommendation is again gonna be from Ugreen, but with different user sets. This HDMI switch supports three inputs and it comes with a remote. It has a caveat though. It only supports HDMI 1.4, which you can only go up to 4K 30 Hertz. And because of that, it's actually cheap compared to the other ones in the market, which is 19 bucks right now. It's a listing price. And in the Black Friday deals, it goes for 13.29. Our next up is, I think the sweet spot in the market right now, which you get the most amount of features with a reasonable amount of money. It's from Ugreen and it supports five HDMI inputs. And it's HDMI 2.0, which supports up to 4K 60 Hertz. It also comes with a remote and has a listing price of 40 bucks. In Black Friday deals, it goes for 28 bucks, which I think is a great price for this kind of a product. And my last recommendation for HDMI switches comes from a brand Array. I probably couldn't spell it right, but this HDMI switch caught my attention with its specific feature. It's picture in picture. It's pressing various different buttons in the included remote, you can actually change the orientation of the HDMI inputs that you put. This is extremely useful in a case that, for example, you have a security camera and a TV on the side and you want to watch them together. And in that case, you will need something like this, which supports picture in picture. This product will probably suit to very limited amount of people. And because of that, it reflects to the price. It has a listing price of 70 bucks. And in Black Friday deals, it calls for 44 bucks. Now it's time for the KVM switch. KVM switch, or we can call it keyboard, video, and mouse switch is designed for users who needs to control multiple computers with one set of peripherals. That's your keyboard, video, and monitor. So let's say you are working with two or more computers. Instead of using two separate keyboards, two separate mice, and multiple monitors, you can use a KVM switch to toggle between computers with a single setup. I personally use a KVM switch in my own setup. I have my personal PC and MacBook for work, both connected to a KVM switch. With a press of a button, my entire setup, including my keyboard, mouse, monitor and even my microphone goes from my personal PC to MacBook or vice versa. It's a lot more convenient than going into your monitor's menu, changing the HDMI ports and connecting your USB peripherals to the other PC, so you got the point. When buying a KVM switch, there are a few questions you need to ask yourself first. First of all, the number of computers. How many computers that you plan to use a KVM switch with? The higher you go, the complexity and the price of the KVM switch will increase. And the same goes with the number of monitors. You can just switch one monitor or you can switch maybe four monitors. And depending on the complexity, the price of the KVM switch will go up. And also you should consider the refresh rate and the resolution that you are going to use this KVM switch with. For example, if you plan to use it with 4K 60Hz, you should definitely consider an HDMI switch with HDMI 2.0 support. And next question is the monitor connection type. There are tons of KVM switches in the market that supports HDMI inputs, but there is also some that supports display port and USB-C connectivity. Another question is the USB version. There are KVM switches with USB 2.0, 3.0, and USB-C connectivity. Depending on the USB port you choose, your data transfer speed also increases. Generally, switches supporting USB-C comes with high data transfer speed. So considering all of that, I will have some recommendations for KVM switches. The first one is going to be definitely Definitely this Ugreen KVM switch, which I already made a video about. If you are interested to watch that, check out the video up in here. So this KVM switch is one of the cheapest and reliable ones on the market right now. It comes with 4 USB 2.0 connectivity, and it also comes with an extended control button, which for example, you could put onto the desk and you could put the KVM switch and all the other cables under so that you can actually do a really good cable management. In addition to those, this KVM switch also supports HDMI 2.0 and 4K 60 Hz, which is great. And also they include all the cables you would need to install this on your setup, which I think it makes the listing price of 38 bucks for this KVM switch a reasonable price. And in Black Friday deals, it calls for 28.49, which is a great deal. And my next recommendation is gonna be from Anchor. It's almost two times expensive than the Ugreen one I showed, but it has a much better feature set. For example, in total, it has five ports, and two of them is USB 2.0, Two of them is USB 3.0 and one of them is USB-C, which makes this KVM switch a really appealing option if you are planning to transfer data. And one another great feature is it has inputs from PCs as Type-C. So it's great that you 
can connect to your laptop or desktop PC without needing any other USB A connection. And all those features comes with a hefty price of 100 bucks, and it currently has a 20% discount and it goes for 79.99. All the KVM switches we look so far only support two PC inputs and one monitor output. If you want to expand the amount of computers to for example four, then this is the product you should consider. This product is from Great Tech and it supports four computers and one monitor output. It also supports 4K 60Hz which is great. Since it supports four computers, it reflects to the price and it has a listing price of 75 bucks. In Black Friday deals, it goes for 57 bucks. And another direction you could go is to increase the monitor amount. For example, the switch from Evatech supports two computers with two monitor outputs. It's great if you have a dual monitor setup that you want to switch from different PCs. It also supports 4K 60Hz and it says a listing price of 70 bucks. In Black Friday deals, it goes for 54 bucks. As you can see, there are really different kind of variations of KVM switches and we are not even done yet. This one is again different from the others that it has only supports two computer inputs and one monitor output, but the output it supports is DisplayPort. Since it supports DisplayPort, it has a lot more bandwidth and it supports 8K 60Hz and it means 4K 240 hertz, which is a lot compared to the other KVM switches we look into. If you want to higher your refresh rates, for example, if you want to get 4K 144 hertz, then you should get something like this with the DisplayPort support. This one has a listing price of 87 bucks, and in Black Friday deals, it goes for 68.79. It's been a long KVM switch list, but I have two more switches to show you, which are generally are more premium tools compared to the other ones. The first one comes from AV Access. This KVM switch is basically a dock that you connect your computer and and forget about anything else. In the front, it has USB 2.0 ports, probably for your keyboard and mouse, and it has an USB-C port, 3.5 headphone jack, SD card input. On the back, it has an internet port, USB-B port, USB 3.0 ports, USB-C input port, display port input, HDMI input, and like you name it, it has a lot more compared to the other KVM switches that we talked before. And this definitely reflects to the price of a hefty 260 bucks. In Black Friday deals, it goes for 182 bucks. So my final recommendation is gonna be from Cyber. They also make other type of KVM switches, but this might caught my attention from the really high-end KVM switch market, which only few of them support Thunderbolt 4 connection. If you want Thunderbolt 4 connectivity with USB-C speeds up to 40 gigabits per second, then this could be your KVM switch. It also has a lot more features like 60 watt charging or USB 3.2 connectivity, but that comes with a price tag of a listing price of 350 bucks. It currently has a 14% discount and it goes for 300 Bucks. As you can see, the range for KVM switches goes from 30 bucks to the sky, so it's really important that you specify your needs first and buy the product that you will actually fit it into your setup. To summarize everything up, USB switches basically to control different USB peripherals between two or more set of computers. In addition to the USB, if you want to also switch video in between different computers, you should consider buying a KVM switch. But if you don't want to switch USB peripherals and you just want to switch HDMI peripherals, then you should buy an HDMI switch. Throughout this video, I gave you my top recommendations for each switch category and you can find the links in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you enjoyed. And if you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time, 